Hello there. I was having a route round in the office and I found an old canvas which is uh, 60 centimetres square so it's reasonably big and I decided I would use it. it. It had previously had a collage on and there was loads of bits of refold paper and all manner of things that I'd used for the collage that were sort of stuck on there. Well it made for a really awkward surface to paint on but I also quite like that because you're not starting from just a blank white surface. You've got something interesting to work around and it gives you a bit of a bit of bit of a starting point for some of the shapes you're going to make and it gives you some inspiration in a way so that was nice anyway um yeah no i thought i'd use some bright paint because i wanted to do a combination of a few different screenshots i'd got got a, a nice screenshot or two of a nebula that i have been to which is hugely difficult to pronounce and fly isaacs and one of, you know though one of those but it had a really good powerful pink and purple gleam and this was a this was a hot planet with a um, planetary ring and sort of I dipped into the planetary ring and took a few photos whilst I was there and I kind of cheated a bit because not only have I got I've got an ice ring detonation but this wasn't an ice ring I think this was a rocky ring well it wouldn't be ice would it not with a, basically to all intents and purposes a star at the center of the ring so yeah now I'm decided to start penciling and you see I use some of the sort of the crap that's on on the surface of the canvas to sort of suggest where I might put my asteroids from the um, the planetary ring and uh, because I'm using a watercolor pencil I can then use that pencil crayon as a starting point for the, the solid color of the asteroids as well down that bottom left I've decided I'm going to do a big booming rock that'd be good fun I like a boomy rock gives a bit more interest doesn't it and that's one of the nicest bits of like being in one of those asteroid belts is just being able to detonate those the deep core charges and just hear that that reverberating uh, feedback sound of the the real low bass noises that you get it's, it's the greatest thing it's just such a, a lovely sound and and visually it's amazing too with that the 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 winking lights of your of your of your detonation charges if you've placed them correctly and and then uh and then that kind of that flash of light and then the ring emanating from the center of, of the rocks as they slowly glide apart revealing the lovely tasty <laughs> well potentially this was a diamond rock i think but obviously we aren't going to get a low temperature diamond around a, around a star but i think I, I, the good thing about this being a combination of different screenshots I can take the bits I liked from different screenies and I could have still done a detonation like that it would have just been a rocky detonation look no different except that the shapes of the rocks in the belt are different because they just have slightly different forms in the icy belts to the um the ones in the uh the rockies don't they you get that I I know because to look for a a deep core charge in a rocky one you've got to look for the teardrops haven't you whereas in an ice you got to look for the popcorn and there's just that that subtle difference <laughs> not that it matters really because you know often often you just um you know you're looking for pay night or something and you're just whatever anyway so wittering on looking at the uh, watercolor pencil because you just put water on it and then because your pencils pencil crayon lead is just basically made of paint at that it just enables you to fill it all in. These were mostly silhouettes, so I've taken a picture where they were kind of side lit as well because I, I just think it, it gives a more interesting surface if and more interesting image if they're not just silhouetted. It's one colour, isn't it? I'd, I'd like to have a little bit of light shining. Anyway, yeah, so putting a bit of chalk on to try and blend it all in, you know, feathering in the, the rocks and, and kind of trying to give the effect that some of the rocks are behind the cloud uh, and some of them are in front. So some of those are going to be masked a little bit by the general dust particles in the uh, planetary ring and some of them, you know, are nearer to you and so they're more resolved. This this is me trying to show the... Um, th this. Oh, it's so difficult. I, that was... Um, glue i think it just was resisting it was a pva glue so when i stuck paint on it it was all right but it wasn't having it with a chalk just ram a load of chalk on top of everything and try and see where i'm getting to there was an awful lot of trying to color in rocks really basically with this picture as best i could anyway it's nice using different shades of chalk to suggest the rocks because 
obviously with the distance and the the way that the light the fade out you get i don't know whether that's my computer settings i certainly have a sort of background fade a little bit on mine um and um so obviously the more distant rocks are going to be more faint and flatter but i think that gives a nice sort of three-dimensional quality to it trying to show the nebula as well now the nebula's got to look quite dense and dark <gasps> i never did the stars i'll put a couple of stars in the sky later there were a couple of stars in the sky just um oh it's always the thing you forget when you've done everything you sort of step back and you oh thank goodness i've managed to finish it all and then you think oh i'll take a photograph of that and and realize that actually there were like five dots that you actually needed to do and you didn't do them so this is trying to show the, the three-dimensional blobs of the nebula that uh, rather than it being near us it's right deep darkness of space but that's the background like a like a back painting in a theatre or something so colouring in trying to show that the um, the planet is behind the rocks and the dust so not too much because I wanted to still be able to see those rocks putting a little bit of a, a stripe on that that hot Jupiter type affair brown or it's not brown well it would probably would be wouldn't it but you'd not jump in at that because it's not the largest object in the system. But yeah, if that was the best you could do, you'd jump into that. So I'm using a bit of felt pen and trying to make the background recessed behind just so that the um, the planet shows a bit more clearly. And um, sort of making the background darker because it is space after all. So this is still me trying to show the... Um, contrast or at least give it a little bit more of a punchy look so i'm using white chalk to create the appearance of rocks where they weren't by going round them um i stopped here so uh that's that's what it looked like for a bit okay so i spent a bit of time coloring the rocks really this one's the blowy uppy rock and uh there's just honestly there's not a great deal I can think of to say that's clever about it so I'll bang a bit of music on
So I decided that at this point um, I wanted to make a bit more interest on the right hand side. The right hand side was just all covered in glue and gunk and badly drawn rocks. So I thought well what we need is a little MPC miner. So I decided to go with uh, a T10. It's all good isn't it? Nice chunky T10. There he is. I'm colouring him in. And um, I went with a basic flat colour because the one I was copying off was a screenshot where it was already in dust cloud. So, and, but I kind of like was using that dust cloud ship because my ship was further away. I wanted it to look further away so it would be a bit fadey. Going around it to show off the the actual shape of the and the angle that it was travelling at. So and uh, still quite washy. I, I didn't have too much detail in it because I just want to sort of suggest it because obviously it's distantly far away considering pottering off to find a new rock. And uh, this is one of my new gorgeous red chalk that I've been given. They're the best thing in the world ever. And friend, It was a birthday present from a friend. They are made by Sennelier of Paris, which are just the most amazing things, which are lovely. Um, but... Uh, to try not to use them much because they're, they're just sneeze and then they disappear but uh, yeah just basically chucking anything that will make a mark at this little t10 and um, destroying felt pens again try and make it show it for what it, it, it <laughs> anyway it's it's getting there a little bit of pain <laughs> you know maybe a kitchen sink here and there Trying to show the uh, the actual engine flares, but I didn't really do a very good job. <laughs> Never mind, doesn't really matter, it's all right. I mean, this is where I, I put in a, a ton of white around it to make it stand out. And it doesn't stand out, it just looks terrible. So I ended up going over it in purple in the end. So it looked a bit better. It doesn't look quite as offensive once it had a bit of purple on that. Just go around a few asteroids to sort of disguise the awfulness of what I had done. And uh, yeah, a bit of, bit of accidental grey. <laughs> That's always good. well. No, that can be the dust, can't it? That would get using a felt pen to sort of clarify the edges again. That that's that's more like it. Look, a bit of bit of purple chalk covers a multitude of sins, doesn't it? And uh, try and like suggest that this spaceship is actually travelling by the use of its thrusters or whatever. And then a little bit of a light there near the cockpit at the front. Anyway, so there, look, it looks all right at the distance. It's just um, just that every time my hand goes down on the canvas, uh, I smudge a bit of it and I have to do it again. And it just never quite looked done or good. Never mind. It's all right. I quite enjoyed it. It's nearly done, actually, looking at it. So that's not so bad. Um, yeah, I think I think I'm pretty much okay this bottom right hand corner is still ropey it's not very good but I think for what it is it's a bit of fun with a, a canvas that I had had knocking around in my room for ages just you know collecting muck I think it's made good use of something that was otherwise useless so I'm, ha I'm quite happy with that and it's nice to do something a bit big for a change righty ho well thank you for watching I really appreciate it if you did which uh, I'd be amazed but that's very kind thank you Bye-bye. <laughs>